CAPLEX is a web platform for performing mechanical engineering calculations directly in the cloud. Let's travel to 1930 in Manhattan and pretend we are one of the folks up there posing for the picture during the constructions of the world of Astoria. We would want that the engineer that designed this structure had correctly computed the stresses that the beam should withstand in order for it not to break down when we stepped over it. Well, solving beams is a rather basic endeavor within engineering courses, and we have known how to do it with paper and pencil since a couple of centuries now. But what about the hooks the beam is hanging from? We would also want the guy who designed them to have taken into account that we were going to stand on whatever those hooks would eventually hold. Now, hooks are not as simple as beams, and we don't know how to solve them with paper and pencil. Not in 1930, but for sure since more than 20 years now, the manufacturer has had the CAD model, that means computed aided design of the hook. We are missing the CAE, which means computed aided engineering. But why do we want to do CAE if they didn't do it for the world of Astoria? There's this crane manufacturer quietly working in his office. Suddenly, a hook provider in the brown jacket appears and says, I sell you this hook, which is the one for you. I designed it with 3D CAD. Interesting, says the crane manufacturer. How many tons can it withstand? Same situation, but another designer in a black jacket comes and says, I sell you this hook, which is the one for you. I designed it with 3D CAD. Interesting. How many tons can it withstand? Five tons. I did CAE. We are in the front wave of Industry 4.0, aren't we? How are computed AD design and engineering performed in 2020? How should they? CAEplex is a web platform, it runs on the cloud, it gives results in seconds and it is mobile friendly and collaborative. CAEplex is to traditional finite element software what Google Docs is to Microsoft Word. CAEplex can solve heat conduction, for instance the temperature in the handle of this teapot. The natural oscillation modes of a part can be obtained. And of course, the strains and stresses out of mechanical and or thermal loads. CAPLEX is used from a web browser. The user launches Chrome or Firefox, opens CAPLEX.com and gets to see the projects. It works on Linux, Mac or Windows without needing to install anything. CAPLEX solves finite elements in the cloud. No need to buy last generation workstations. A plain old laptop is enough because the computations are not performed locally but on dedicated servers. CAEplex encourages agile development. Literally, in seconds, the strains and stresses can be obtained. In this example of a cylinder under bending loads, one can go from the CAD to the stresses in 15 seconds. CAEplex is mobile friendly. It can be used from a phone or tablet. One can copy the link, text it, and the receiving party can easily access the project directly from his or her mobile device. CAPLEX is completely integrated into Onshape, which is a web platform for doing CAD 100% on the cloud. Again, Onshape is the SOLIDWORKS, but Google Docs is the Word. Those using CAPLEX from Onshape will be able to open a new tab inside the CAD document and to have the CAE of the parts modeled in Onshape at the same place. How does CAPLEX work? Technically, it is a web frontend for two computational backends a measure and a finite element solver. The measure is Gmesh, which is free as in freedom and was written by people from Leech University in Belgium. The solver is Fino, which was written by our company and is also free and open source, released as GPLB3+. So our company Simplex controls almost the whole spectrum, from the cute teddy bear down to the claw in charge of computing the partial derivatives of the shape functions within 10 node tetrahedra. Why was CAPLEX born? Because we felt the way that current finite element products are designed in an on premise only approach is preventing the massive adoption of computed aided engineering as the next natural step of computed aided design. And because the learning curve is so stiff that it prevents the so called democratization of simulation. 